is watching the boys clinch. Um, I usually, when I'm on the bag, will try to like sneak watching them because I can learn a lot just from watching how they work with each other. But they've been clinching each other for years and they've gotten bigger together. Like their weight has shifted so that like one is bigger than the other and then within six months it's changed. And they're used to each other and they have different strengths and so they all kind of know how to clinch with each one with these differences. Like the way that Bank clinches with D is different from the way that he clinches with Alex. <laughs> Generally when you have three like this, it's man in the middle. So one person stays in the middle and then whoever gets thrown, another person comes in to replace, or whenever someone gets thrown, someone comes in to replace. D has changed the game for some reason. I don't know if he's um, not feeling well or injured or just doesn't want to do it, but he picked up these pads so that whoever gets thrown has to kick the pads as like a tiring punishment. It's like having to do push-ups or something. But why I love watching these guys so much is that they're just playing together. There's not a lot of instruction. <laughs> And they'll just kind of like perform for each other and mess around with each other and kind of play. And this is how you learn, is just this endless hours of playing together. So it can be frustrating as a Westerner that you don't get instruction because you don't know how to do anything. And so you want someone to show you, you know, how to do this lock or that move or how to escape something. But this is actually how you learn it, is just by playing all the time. And the relationship that these guys have for all the years that they've been training together is completely expressed in this time that they clinch and play together. It's an expression of who they are, but it's also like the things that they try to get on each other. <laughs> See how Bank is waiting for uh, Alex to knee because he doesn't want to get thrown? My camera actually stopped itself on the last one, so there's a bit of a cut. But the points that they're getting on each other, to me, is so funny, because the dominance is real, even though they're just playing. Like, it's actually important who throws whom. And here, this is the kind of instruction that you'll get. So Krunu is breaking down for a second how to block someone's incoming knees, just by bringing your leg up. So this is just happening on the side. This is the kind of instruction that these guys would have gotten, you know, when they were like eight or something. And then it just kind of gets reinstated as they go. The way that Alex and Bank are clinching is actually very reminiscent of the way that they were four years ago or something, when they were both super tiny. And they don't hang out as much like in regular life as they used to. Uh, they're just teenagers, so they're kind of like doing their own things. But then they come together and have this time where they're playing in the ring where it's what they've been doing together, you know, two hours a day or something for years and years. They're very different fighters. When they go and they fight at Lumpany, there's very different methods to how they fight and the styles that they have, but the way that they play together here, <laughs> the way that Bank is holding that foot and looking at D, like the way that they perform for each other and turn things into a joke, to me, I love watching it. It's, it's like watching your brother's banter or seeing their personalities as they, you know, watch a movie or something. When you watch a movie with your brother and you know what he'll find funny. It's like that. It's like watching a funny movie with your family. You see, Den just kind of throws a body punch into Alex because he's close enough as he goes by. This kind of interaction that makes things less formal is what makes a kaimoi a kaimoi.